Hey guys, welcome back today. Um, we're going to build out another terrarium today. So what I want to work on is my 36 inch, it's down here, uh, it's 36 inch by 18 by 18. It's my bottom tank. Uh, I've always planned on doing this for, for some lukes, some bumblebee dart frogs. However, it was not supposed to be the next one on the list. It was going to be a little while. It was going to be one of the like 10th projects. I really want to do this middle layer next, all three of them. However, um, cool little story is I have a friend that, you know, four years ago when I got in it really quick and got out really quick, I had got a group of Lukes and um, he took them. Well, he just recently, since I was getting back in frogs, a few days ago brought me four babies from that group. So it's, you know, frogs from my original group. It's kind of cool. Um, and I want Luke's anyhow. So I have them. I have them right now in a temporary tote. So I have them right now in this little temporary tote that he gave them to me in. Um, the reason I haven't put them in the 10 gallon that I am planning on quarantining all my frogs in is because, well, I filled up all the 10 gallons. So I know him really well. I know his frogs are really good. I know I'm not going to have issues with these guys. Um, so I'm going to just build the tank for them today and put them right into it. Now, like I said, the tank I want to build is the 36 by 18 by 18. Because I plan on putting them in right away, I'm not going to do no type of painting or foam background or anything like that. I did take their background out already. Uh, it's the regular background that comes with the Exoteros. And I did glue on some of the uh, Echo Web, the, what is it called? Let me look. I glued on this stuff from Glassbox Tropicals. It is Hydrolon. Uh, it's what everyone's been using. There's some knockoff brands and stuff. I hear they're not nearly as good. I want to make sure I have the good stuff. So I bought a lot of this from him when he had it on, on like 30% sale or something. Um, so I glued that to the existing background. And then where the glue came through, I just put coconut fiber and dirt and stuff to hide the excess glue. Um, so the style I always wanted to do for the Lukes was going to be a pebble tank you know pebbles as in large river stones um, and I want to make like a mound with maybe some bromeliads coming from behind it with plants coming out moss is growing all between the rock because as you missed it that rock will stay really dark and I figured the bright yellow of the Lukes would pop really good on it so that's what I always wanted to do with their tank when I did it so I figured I'd go ahead and do it I had actually already bought the rock when I saw it um, for sale and I bought it and it's just been sitting in the garage so I have everything here already. I don't have to run off and go get anything, which makes it, you know, good, um, especially during this time with all the virus going on around the world and everyone's closed down. So I figured since I have everything and I have the frogs and they need a tank to go in, we'd go ahead and do their tank today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. And uh, I'm gonna get the camera down there, see if I can get everything filmed. And uh, hopefully it comes out pretty good. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so the first thing that we do is put our background back in. Uh, little tip, you gotta cut it in half if you're gonna go in through the front. After that, we put our drainage layer. Like any good tank, you have to have a good drainage layer, make sure it's deep enough. I have to make sure it's higher than my drain. Uh, and then we put in our barrier to stop the dirt from mixing with it. I do slope the drainage layer backwards. And when I put my dirt in, I do like to come up all the way to the front of glass and push it in into the drainage layer right there, just so that I don't see it from the front. This is the only place it makes contact, which does make the front of my tank a little bit more wet, but normally the plants handle it pretty well. All right, so now we start placing our rock. I started in the middle with my larger stones. I left my smaller stones for the end to fill in the space. And I put this piece of corkboard tube in there to give the frogs more places to hide because with the rock, you wanna make sure you, you fill in all the holes with dirt. There's gonna be some little small crevices, but most of it's gonna be filled with dirt. That way the rocks don't shift. And if you don't do that, the frogs could potentially get in there and get stuck. 
So you'll see as I do layers of rock, I keep going back, add in soil, and keep packing it into the little holes to make sure that they're all filled and know where the frogs can get stuck and to make sure that the rocks don't slide. Now all my rocks are leaning slightly further back, so they're almost wanting to fall backwards, but as you put that dirt in there, you know, you're holding them up. Um, so you just gotta make sure you come pack it really good and you just keep putting that dirt in there and you keep stacking until you're happy with something. So we got all of our larger rocks in. Now I'm coming in with these smaller rocks to fill in holes and to make it look more natural with different sized stones. Uh, I put different rocks in places that look good. You gotta make sure you move them around, make sure they're not just gonna tumble. You gotta make sure the rock's not gonna fall because it potentially could fall and hurt a frog. And we just come back again with some more dirt. We backfill everything. We put dirt all over all the crevices. Uh, we do this to make sure that dirt is getting into all the small little rocks, crevices, pretty much everywhere. You wanna make sure there's no major holes that the frogs can get in and get stuck. And then to make sure that the dirt is compacted in, into every crevice, you just sit there and water it down. Now, this process took me about an hour and I wind up going through about four gallons of water, maybe even five. But I got there, I washed all the rock off, made sure all the dirt went into every crevice and every rock was pretty stable. Uh, you can see this is after a good time. Then I threw some moss spores onto the back while it was wet and I poured it all over the rock. But I washed it off again to make sure the spores only went into the crevices of the rock. You don't want anything staying on the actual rock itself. Next, I added a focal piece of fern that was my main piece of fern that I wanted to catch the eye. Then we came back in with all of our moss and added it in between all the rocks on the soil, basically anywhere that dirt was. You don't want to expose dirt because that's going to stick to the frogs and uh, irritate them. So you just take your time, go into every crevice and put it everywhere. And then after you finish the moss, you're going to come back in and you're going to start your planting. I went ahead and put some cork board up at the top, separating the soil from the bromeliads I want to plant up there. I did not want the bromeliads sitting directly on the soil because it could rot them out. So hopefully they would then shoot roots into that hydro lawn and take root and send up some pups and everything and fill in those spaces. The bromeliads themselves are too heavy and too large for the frogs to move, so I didn't have to worry about that. After that came in, I planted some ferns and some other plants. I picked a pink plant, I forget exactly what it's called, but the pink broken up into multiple places and tank when it grows in will, will break up the eye from all of the green. That way your eye has a little bit of contrast with the green. The last plant I came in with was a vine. I had this vine, I want to use it on this one because the dark leaves and the shape of the leaves I thought went really good with the rocks. So I've been saving it for a long time. I've had it now for probably five months knowing that I want to do a tank like this. So I planted it in, had it just go across different rocks and things. I think it's going to grow in very nicely and look really well in this tank. Lastly, we added some more small rocks just as accent pieces and a monkey pod into the left corner as a station to feed flies. I'll probably come back later and add a cocoa hut to the right corner for breeding purposes later, but right now I left it out. All right guys, that's uh, that's the build. I mean, it's on the floor, so I'm sitting down. Uh, from my computer desk though, it's a perfect view. Um, I hope y'all like what I did, but the only thing left to do is go ahead and put the frogs in. So let's get them out and get them into their new home. These lids are hard to get off.
All right, guys. That's it. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Thank you.